Hello and welcome back to Richard Katzman Fly Tying and today we're going to be making a uh, fly that I call the uh, white uh, glider it's a beautiful little fly and it's made to uh, just lay on top of the water and just glide with the current so let's get started uh, the hook that I'm using for this fly is a 430 multi-use curved hook in size 12 and it's a J Stockard uh, hook. It's a dry hook, it's very light, but as you can see uh, when I hold this up the gap is very narrow and on this fly I want to make the gap uh, a little wider so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to mash down the barb and I'm going to bend the shank of the uh, hook and now I'm going to uh, open up the gap and be very careful that you don't break the uh, the uh, hook because they're very very you know uh, light hooks they're made for dry flies so now that we have that bent I'm going to put it into my vise and we're ready to start dressing the shank I'm using a black 6-0 slightly waxed uh, thread and the vise I'm using is a uh, nor vise and you can see that it's got a really nice rotary design to it it's like a spinning wheel cut off the excess uh, thread the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, cactus chenille medium in a root beer color this is some really nice uh, material it really gets the, uh, the light and it shows up all over it's really really nice okay I'll bring my thread back up to about an eye's length behind the eye of the of the hook and now I'm going to wrap this counterclockwise back up and take my thread and I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of wraps in tie that off reach in and cut off the excess and put in a couple of wraps in front we want to make sure we keep that eye to the hook open now the feathers we're going to be using is a whiting hen saddle and it looks like uh, like this with the rounded tops and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of smaller ones and uh, they look like this I'm just going to cut off just before it gets to the fluffy part of the, uh, the feather put that aside and now I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to cut off just trim down the fibers at the bottom of the uh, the feather here make a of a brush and I'm going to advance, uh, rewind my thread to the back and I'm going to go ahead and tie in my first feather now I'm going to repeat the process and go in and cut off my second feather Again, I'm going to just trim up the bottom so I have that little brush 
uh, design there. Get a couple of wraps in. And now we have that, those two feathers at an angle. Now I'm going to bring my, my thread back up. And I'm going to take a couple of longer feathers. Again, I'm going to do the same thing I do with the smaller ones. I'm going to cut it off just in front of the fluff. And I'm going to reach in and trim up a couple of those fibers. In the bottom of the um, feather, and I've got one in. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing to the, uh, to the next one. And I'm going to take that feather and I'm going to lay that over the uh, shank in line with the one that's on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and tie in a figure eight and I'm just going to go ahead and lift those feathers up a little bit okay and now I'm just going to go ahead and start to create the, the fly wrap up a decent head here And I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, crazy glue and I'm just going to run that alongside my my thread and I'm going to tie in some whip finish knots here pull it tight there you have the uh, white glider. It's an easy fly to tie. It's a beautiful little fly. You can see the, the uh, cactus chenille is going to pick up a lot of light underneath it. Thank you for joining uh, me today, and I look forward to seeing you on our next upload. Until then, best regards and tight lines.